We're getting closer to uh, the ice racing season. The car is nearly done. <laughs> okay, I lied. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we are going to be working on the rear end. You see, I've had these control arms sitting in gasoline for the last five days. Apparently, if you have bushings that are being a pain to get out, soak them in gasoline, it deteriorates the rubber and hopefully they just squeeze right out. So, Without further ado, let's jump into it. But first, I gotta set up my table here to get my press ready. And that should be everything I need for today's project. Well, the first part of today's project. What I really need to do is push these bushings out, put the new ones in, install them on the car, and then try pull off these rear hub assemblies, because then, I can actually start putting on the calipers. There is one thing I might do, might not. As you know, the more stuff you take apart, the more stuff you have to put together, but the more potential something has to break. And I have bushing replacements for this, uh, whatever, rear knuckle, whatever, and it goes into the frame. A um, lot of bolts to take it apart, but these are the bushings. I think since I have them, I should do them, but I am somewhat nervous about taking it apart and then finding another problem. I don't know. It all depends. If these come out pretty easy, uh, then I will probably do that. If they don't come out easy, I will just skip that. <laughs> these are pretty rusted, these rear arms. Uh, I looked for new ones and on ESC tuning, $750 a pop for a new one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it is 20% of the cost of the car for two parts. So I might keep my eye out for a wrecked front end damage low mile one if I think those are uh, not as sturdy or strong. But you know, I gotta try drive the car before I start replacing everything else. Although I just have basically replaced everything else. Anyways, let's jump into this project. Well guys, I have run into an issue, meaning I can't get them out. Uh, so, I'm gonna throw these in my truck, see if I can drive around and find a shop that can do it, cause this is holding me back from progress. My buddy's motorcycle shop uh, and he had a 12 ton press and these wouldn't budge <laughs> so I guess under the next project uh, I'm gonna start working on the front end uh, put the front calipers on and rotors on cuz I'm not I'm not wasting any more time on these real control arms I'm just gonna buy adjustable ones cuz he looked up my uh, buddy here at the bike shop he can buy car parts and he looked up this the stock control arms are $279 a piece. It's a ripoff. Um, so I can buy adjustable control arms for I think 400 bucks, 300 bucks. So I'm gonna do that. Let's get back to the garage. A few moments later. Well, guys, since I can't work on the rear control arms today, I am going to. Uh, work on tightening up everything in the front end. I got all my bolts from ESC tuning. I'm gonna clean up these calipers, uh, install the calipers and rotors, I hope, and that way the front can be done. I can double check that my ice, uh, ice racing uh, rims will fit over the calipers, because these are pretty big calipers and rotors compared to the regular VWs. So, that's what I'm gonna work on. Crank that on and let's see how it goes. All right, well, front caliper 
peppers are clean. Uh, I am ready. to put uh, the front end together talk uh, to the correct talk talk uh, the subframe down so I'm gonna do that install my new nut from that strip nut and then play with the calipers Check it out. <clears throat> Alrighty, so what I've done is marked every bolt I've touched with the nut marker or whatever it's called, tamper proof. And every bolt that is, if you will, from the bottom up, I put the marking at the back. That way I can see if it turns. Any bolt that is uh like this not going down but forward or backwards i will um put the marking down so everything is marked everything is talked to spec uh so that is good now let's do the rotors and calipers uh i think i have to replace some parts on the calipers so let me install the rotors and see what we work with productive day I must add by productive I mean I started three hours ago and now it's done so that's uh, good haven't done I still got a lot more but here we go um, both uh, rotors and calipers are on all talk down to spec I haven't connected this just so I remember the whole end is all done and we are making progress so unfortunate about the rear end because I wanted to get the rear end done this weekend as I mentioned before But uh, I don't think I'll be able to get there So I will I don't know do some other projects work on the engine or something. I did order adjustable uh, Control arms top and bottom for uh, the rear here So I should be able to knock that out pretty quickly next week uh, Pull those hubs off once those controls arm, arms are in um, then I'll also be able to, I bought a new cushion for the shock there, or the spring. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty simple system back here. I did get new rotors for the back. If you remember back in the day, the rotors came with uh, non-matching, or the calipers came with non-matching calipers. One was a gray um, caliper. But anyways, I found blue ones for relatively cheap in London. Oh, UK, so I'm gonna put new calipers on the back, new pads on the back, get the back end all done early next week, and then the car is technically drivable. I just need a seat. We are making progress. Let me see what we have here. I mean, install new rotors, half of it. Let's do half of this. Install headlights. I did that off camera. I was bored. Oh, yeah door mirrors. I gotta fix those so I have new ones I will probably work on those so let me put a little asterisk by it install new license plate Why not that's easy? Cabin filter. I'll do that. Let's do that front Front fender liners. I have front fender liners in there. I might be able to do that So anyways, that is the basic gist of what I'll be working on in the next couple videos. Thanks a lot for tuning in again. Um, I am 
going faster now unfortunately you just ran into bushing problems if you guys ever want to do bushings on your car i say no don't do it just buy a new control arms uh much easier uh, they come with bushings in them so that's what i would uh, recommend if you're thinking about doing bushings uh but yeah progress is happening we're gonna have a huge snowfall maybe tomorrow here about anywhere they say six to twelve inches in chicago here which is good for ice racing meaning it's getting colder but that much snow sometimes the sun beats down on the the lakes with that snow and just turns the ice into slush so i don't know if that's too good but we're getting closer to uh, the ice racing season the car is nearly done <laughs> okay i lied the car is getting closer to be done so be sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow me on my journey here again thanks a lot and until next time.